Aha, nicey nicey. How are you, all my friends? I hope you're doing great. So. Today we have a special challenge coming all the way from USA to Saudi Arabia. And this challenge is given by my friend Aldo Saleh from Exelon Pyar. But he has to say something about the data when you're working on Excel. And what is the bottom line? So what's the bottom line? Victory. Ending confusion. Ending Tisla. Victory. Victory, confusion, and this love. So let me solve the challenge for you. No, not me. My friend Faraz will solve the challenge for you. So let us watch him. Can he able to solve it? Can't he do it? <laughs> Thank you all three for coming up with this amazing challenge. It's very important that you spend some time with your data, understand the pattern of your data, and then start exploring it, that how can you clean this scrap data and make it as a goal for you. Now in this data set, we have these different connections, their age, the name, again connection, and the list goes on. And we would just like to pull the names, what are there in the connections. So first thing what I always like to do is convert my data into Excel tables, command T, Yes, my table has headers. Let's go and give a nice name called my data. So far, everything is good till here. Now, after spending some time, I found that every row which I need that information has a word connection. So there's a formula in Excel where we can say search function and we will call this word connection, which will extract the starting position number of the word connection. The beauty of using the search function, it's not case sensitive. So like in case if you have some capital words in connection and small words, it doesn't make any difference to it. It can find the word connection and give you the result. Comma within the text. So I'll be looking in this text. No, we have this new dynamic arrays. So I'm going to select this entire column and close parentheses, enter. So we got all the places where the word connection is there. And we are going to simply wrap this entire function into is number, is number, and the close parentheses, enter. Now we got this logic of true and false. Now if you guess me right, my friends, if I'm using dynamic arrays, why will I spend time writing such a long formula? I will simply use filter, and my array will be this column, comma, and this is my logical test. So wherever the values are true, it will automatically pick up for us, comma, if it is empty, say no data. Let's cross your fingers, enter. We got the list of all the names. Dynamic arrays, amazing my friends. Now let's go and summarize this list. So the first thing what comes in the mind is pivot tables, absolutely right. But we will be doing it differently. So let's call another function and let's wrap that which is called as write function. Write. Now this entire string which is giving the result extract the last three characters. Boom. We got that first, second, third in this list. We don't need this duplicate value as we have to summarize them. We have another function which is called unique. And again, we close the parentheses, enter, voila. Now we got the list of first, second, and third. But no worries, I can see something is not good. So we will call this as sort. And the entire string will be get sorted in alphabetical order. One, two, three. Let's go and count the connections. So we have another formula, count if. And the range is this range, comma, the criteria is very important. So I'll say open quotes, star, the wildcard character, ampersand, and we'll select this cell, which is the first cell. And if I press the pound key, dynamic arrays, it will do the job. 
close parentheses, enter. So everything is ready, my friends. You have turned this scrap data into a gold and a valuable piece of information. And we have did everything on the Mac system. So my Mac users, don't worry. We have a solution for you. And even the Windows users can use the same solution to solve this problem. In my second solution, I'll be just using one simple formula. Equals to is number. And the number value, I'm going to check in this entire column. Close parentheses, enter. We got this results true and false. Now, as we know that about the age, every time the connection is there. So I just play around a little bit with my structure of the data. I'll just insert a new row over here and I will just shift this cell up and I will apply a filter going to data and filter and just select the values those are true just select the entire column and alt colon to select the visible cells copy just go to k2 and paste it and we'll remove the filters from here Voila, all this information is over here. That is looking little bit interesting for me. For us, what do you say about the Power Query Challenge now? Now my data is loaded into the query editor. Now let's assume that we don't have that word connection. How we would have managed that? It would be very simple just to add a filter of connection and get those lists. Assuming we don't have the word connection. Well, the solution is very simple and here it is. Just go to add column, make a duplicate column. Go to home, split by delimiter. And the delimiter will be digit to non-digit. Yes, and we will just remove the null values. And we'll say, okay, so we got all the names over here. Now, if you like to summarize it in the Power Query, well, it's even easier. Just go transform, extract, and last character. That is one. Now, let us merge both of these columns. Merge columns. You have any separator? No, we don't have any separator. Simple. We have the information. Now, let's go. Select this column, merged, group by, and let's give a count, count rows, and we'll say okay, we got those same results. That's my solution with the Power Query. And the challenge is open. Come up with your ideas, your ways of handling the data. We would love to see it. Ooh, nicey nicey. Those solutions were really great. And my friends, you can check my friend as to sell solutions as well and the link is in the below video description and i'll be seeing you soon so make sure that you like this video or the video share his video share my video and don't forget to subscribe me and him and i will be seeing you all soon till then take care and bye bye